Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this first session of uh, Shopify integration with uh, Obvious. Uh, recently, as you guys have seen that there uh, is a thread being in, uh, discussed in the Obvious mailing list and we are going to start our Shopify integration with Obvious as well. So we thought that uh, why shouldn't we start a discussion session so that everyone is aware of what's going to be happen in this integration and how we'll be going to do this and all the stuff because there are many things like integration challenges field discussions whatever the data model is being used should be uh, manipulated in slightly manner so certain things uh, should be there so today's agenda of this discussion is uh, uh, we will be having an introduction of how this uh, integration will be uh, moving forward so here we have uh, today Ritesh uh, who has started the discussion in the mailing list. So he will be covering majorly all the uh, integration uh, touch points as an introduction in today's session. And soon further on, uh, when we will be go going forward, then we will be discussing more details about this integration. So over to you, Ritesh. Well, thank you, Suras, for this, uh, for giving the heads up. So uh, I'm just gonna jump on the discussion further. So uh, let me start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Jitesh Kumar, and I have been uh, working with OABIS uh, for around three years now. And uh, today I'm going to give you uh, an introduction on this new series discussion series. Just uh, we have just started, and in the name of OABIS Shopify Integration Talks. Uh, let me start by asking a simple question here. Ki, uh, why did we need this uh, new series? And how the viewers the benefit uh, from this? Uh, becomes, uh, two questions. Uh, the answer is simple. And that uh, uh, recently, uh, I have I have had this opportunity to be an integral part of this team, where we had to deliver as an uh, as a pure uh, OMS tool, uh, and Shopify was one of the third-party integrations that uh, we had to integrate, and this uh, led to an idea that why not deliver OMS uh, with Shopify uh, out of the box. Uh, this initiative, in fact, was dri driven by the experience. Uh, that we had uh, on working this project uh, this project and so uh, uh, we are here to share our uh, knowledge and experience uh, with you all okay. okay so the basic idea of uh, taking you all through this uh, integration journey uh, this is more of an implementation journey where uh, where we want to involve more and more people uh, like uh, if um, so that uh, people from across the globe from across uh, 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 multiple uh, uh, working experience uh, can share their can share their knowledge can voice out their opinions and uh, can also raise concern uh, if there are any in the approach uh, we are following so basically the this session and the sessions to follow will have uh, will be talking about the uh, the approaches uh, the requirements and the challenges uh, we have faced uh, or uh, will be facing in uh, the implementation further okay uh, before uh, going further into the, into the discussion uh, it is only apt that i give a brief uh, introduction of uh, Shopify. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, now the year 2020, uh, we have seen uh, in this year that e-commerce has totally changed. For uh, according to a research, uh, uh, for around 83 billion a dollar of uh, sales was hit in the month of May, and uh, within three uh, short months uh, months of span, uh, we uh, were able to see a uh, 10 times uh, value of uh, 10 
market value of uh, what was uh, going to be done in 10 years this 3 years and this was just because uh, because of the uh, trends that have changed because of this uh, pandemic and and this has led to uh, led to uh, the business owners shifting towards uh, uh, acquiring and uh, uh, and and making their presence in the online sales so uh, all these points uh, uh, are in fact uh, uh, leading towards uh, uh, leading towards uh, uh, this uh, discussion uh, okay uh, so i was talking i was talking about shopify how shopify comes into this picture shopify uh, choosing an e-commerce solution is not an easy task uh, where a business owner who is uh, who is about to choose uh, shopify uh, who is about to choose, choose an e-commerce solution will uh, will 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 uh, would want that uh, his uh, the chosen solution is uh, uh, is uh, provides with many shipping solutions or has a good uh, search engine optimization structure or uh, or many such other things uh, that a uh, business owner would would want and shopify uh, seems to cover all of this uh, in a good manner and uh, with uh, and the current uh, research uh, shows that the shopify has uh, has around uh, 1 million active websites uh, uh, has a sales sales value of, of around 63 billion dollars and uh, uh, 3000 employees so this uh, this is in fact uh, uh, further uh, empowered by the ease of use and scalability and and the control over designs and are some of the factors that uh, strongly uh, that strongly uh, impart uh, in its market capture so so that's why we uh, we we have chosen shopify uh, owing to this its popularity uh, okay so this was an introduction to shopify and since we are going uh, we are uh, we will mainly be focusing on how oms uh, how oms uh, will be working as an oms and will take shopify as an example to achieve that so a little bit of uh, introduction to OIBIS will also be good. So I'm just going to uh, refer the uh, official uh, Apache OIBIS site and I'm going to read uh, what uh, the site has to say about itself. Okay, Apache OIBIS is a suite of uh, business applications flexible enough to use across any industry A common architecture allows developers to easily extend or enhance uh, it to create custom features. It comes with a great range of modules, uh, modules like uh, accounting, CRM, auto management system, and e-commerce, warehouse, uh, and manufacturing. Spanning over a decade, uh, OIBIS has only grown from strength to strength uh, with a community so active and vibrant as ever. Uh, in this era of hyper specialization, uh, where many systems have uh, many systems have emerged, uh, which uh, caters to a specific need of a business. Uh, uh, there were times when uh, when an ERP was, de uh, was designed by uh, a giant uh, solution provider, but now uh, such uh, but now specific needs are catered by uh, small small uh, uh, solution providers. So there comes a need of uh, uh, projecting uh, OABs uh, as a tool uh, which can be used uh, solely as an Order management system. System. Okay. Uh, the, uh, so till now we we were able to uh, see uh, what Shopify is and how uh, OIBIS can be can be uh, can be projected as uh, can be used as uh, or if uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you want to uh, say something or share a story uh, uh, you are always welcome uh, we have uh, the chat uh, window here you can uh, either post your questions here or uh, raise your hands uh, using the uh, participants menu so okay so i'm going to uh, further I'm going to further discuss uh, what we have in this session. And uh, yeah, I, I gave you a little background on Shopify and OIBIS, and I think now would be a great time to uh, great time to give you a little background on the upcoming sessions. And 
okay the up, uh, the up, uh, na, uh, as the name suggest uh, of uh, shop uh, shopify integration talks uh, we will be uh, keeping uh, will keeping focus on uh, showing obs uh, as an obs tool and uh, we'll see uh, and using obs as an obs tool com comes with uh, uh, some expectations and and those uh, and there we have, have a beautiful article written by uh, pranay pandey uh, who has been with obs over a decade now and and his uh, he has written a beautiful article which clearly depicts uh, uh, explains the uh, the uh, expectations that uh, that will be uh, that that will arise when we use obs as an oms and in fact we have uh, another series in pro progress uh, named as obs as an oms which uh, uh, which uh, talks in detail about those expectations so uh, i'll further uh, uh, share those details or uh, those uh, uh, links uh, uh, on the email thread that uh, we can uh, refer to later. OK. OK, so, so uh, we, OK, now that uh, I tell about uh, what will be the topics of uh, the forthcoming sessions. So uh, shop, uh, the, the upcoming sessions will have uh, we'll have topics uh, like uh, uh, what will uh, what we uh, what what are the uh, uh, what are the APIs available from Shopify and uh, limitations that we we found uh, when uh, integrating Sh Shopify with OIPIS and uh, the uh, structure we followed and 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 the other available resources and and some. Uh, uh, and some uh, business requirements that uh, we had to deal and uh, while integrating with shop uh, shopify and the sessions to follow we'll see uh, uh, the order uh, uh, pulling orders customers and products in our uh, in our system and uh, managing those orders uh, and products and uh, we'll also be uh, we'll also be t talking about uh, uh, fulfillment and inventory uh, visibility uh, across the channels. So, okay. So that was all from me. Uh, it was really a pleasure talking to you all. I hope this was of some value to to you all, and I'll be happy to entertain some questions here. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Ritesh, okay. for uh, all the details that you have provided. I was just going to mention that we have a question in the chat. Uh, you can have a look at it from Pranay. OK, we have a question here from Pranay. Uh, let me read that. How does OIBiz fit in Shopify Universe? OK. How does OIBiz fit in Shopify Universe? So Shopify. Shopify uh, is a solution uh, that uh, can be used for our uh, e-commerce platforms, uh, POS platforms, and, and many such platforms uh, that can be termed as uh, uh, omni-channel, uh, that can be taken into omni-channel scenarios. And as we all know, always is uh, well equipped and has uh, resources available that uh, can can uh, can tend to those uh, those uh, scenarios that Shopify has to offer. Yeah, and also, as you mentioned earlier, uh, like uh, 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 currently we have another series going on of, of OBS as an OMS. So this completely relates to that topic as well, like oh, uh, Shopify yes. is an e-commerce platform and OBS being as an OMS platform. So it will be uh, taking orders from Shopify and doing the routing of those orders and all those stuff as an OMS platform. So this integration also uh, helps us uh, in, uh, in increasing the demand of OBIS as an OMS platform as well, right? Yes, rightly said. Yes. Yeah, so um, uh, Ritesh, though you, uh, though you have already touched 
that area uh, where you talked about like what's the advantage an enterprise or a business gets when they choose Shopify as their e-commerce platform. Mm, I think there must be there must be a session we simply talk about all the benefits that they get while choosing Shopify. At the same time, what are the things which uh, will be benefited there if you choose Oibiz as your OMS platform? And uh, yes. to list it out so that you know, we clearly know like what is the gap uh, that Oibiz is going to fill for Shopify. At the same time, does Oibiz actually need a platform like this? Are we are we saying that? The e-commerce that Oibiz gives out of the box is uh, not going to compete with Shopify anymore, or uh, uh, is it a competition anymore? Or like those sort of topics, uh, I think we should be touching a bit. Uh, there is definitely a big market share, right? That you already talked about. Yes. And that gives Oibiz a space there, and, and uh, there is a fair chance that we will be able to uh, increase the adoption rate for oibiz as well because it, it it actually fills in some gaps if we if we can find out and uh, discuss those gaps i think that would be the fruitful thing and maybe one of uh, some other session not in the specifically in this session as you said you are going to do future sessions okay yes right please said uh, uh, i'll take uh, note of these points that you mentioned right now and will definitely uh, and, and these are good points that can uh, will be conveyed in 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 form of uh, another session so so i'll take a note of it thank you Ritesh. great so uh, i think uh, currently we are done with the first session as of now so we have some good information from the ritesh and uh, uh, soon we will be covering all the other topics of this integration in deeper as well and we will be notifying everyone in the uh, mailing list as well so thank you everyone for joining thank, thank you everyone you. be safe thank you